everyone, welcome to 60 Minute Access of Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Beta. I'm Bronson, joined by Anthony Ta. Good day. And John Macaluso. Hello, fine people of the world. Yeah, so, we're going to play some Call of Duty, which I'm sure John is enthused about. Hey, Bronson. Yeah. I kind of dig this one. That's, you know, I don't like it as much as I like Black Ops 2, but I'm still enjoying it. Yeah. Like, Black, and that makes sense, because, like, Black Ops 2 was the Call of Duty I probably put the most time into. So. I don't think it is. So I'm going to invite you now. Oh, don't worry about it. I'll just join you. Okay. I like your logo. What, what specialist have you been using? The bow? I have been using the gravity uh, spikes, but I changed this last night just before I got off. So now I'm using Outrider Vision Pulse. I've been using the um, the uh, grenade launcher one. They give you like eight uh, shots and they split off into other guns. As long as you're not using Tempest, which is the cheapest shit in this game. Uh, which one is that? Uh, that is the electric gun. Oh, yeah, gun. that the rail gun thing? Yeah, like, yeah. I experienced that for the first time, like, last night, and I was like, are you, are you serious right now? <laughs> oh, yeah, like, I, like, you want to talk about the overpowered guns? I remember, well, slide of hand. Yeah, no, yeah, that thing was great. this game has basically been reminding me, like, everything I love and hate about Call of Duty. Yeah. <laughs> Like, it's just like, oh yeah, I love the 60 frames and the quick action. That was lucky. That was so lucky. Well, that guy's, you get him? Yeah, like, so I've been playing, like, Reaper jumped. yay. Did you just shoot through the wall and kill him? No, he, he was with her around the corner. Yeah, like, the thing I never enjoyed about Call of Duty is just how fast you die to everything. Actually, Modern Warfare 3 is curing alpha. Worse than Modern Warfare. Oh, Modern Warfare 3 just do like that. Like, Modern Warfare 2, at least I just kind of felt like, okay, it's kind of pushing it a little Something bit, horrible. but it's not too bad. But Modern Warfare 3 was when... This is way too fast. Enemy has Modern Warfare Sorry. 3 is like, we breathed on you and you died. Like, I contend that that is the worst Call of Duty besides 3. Like, it goes Call of Duty 3, then Modern Warfare 3, and then, uh... Oh, World at War. Yeah, like Wait, Wild Warfare 3 worse than Black Ops. Black Ops might actually. Yo, know, Black Ops 1 had, like. <laughs> uh, I gave Black Ops 1 a lot of shit at the time. And it, I, don't, I don't think it's a good game overall, but, like, it had some cool stuff and some good moments. What? This game. D yeah. It, like I said, it reminds me. Yeah, no. Oh my goodness, this is not good. Uh, Someone, someone help! John? What's up? Sorry, you guys are cutting out for me. We're, we're cutting out? Yes. I think I'm cutting out because I'm not loud enough. Yeah, it's it's mostly Anthony, and I'm capturing C. So yeah, I'm sitting kind of far away from the mic right now. Actually, yeah, it's pretty quiet here. Let me turn down. Out again. <laughs> Let me turn down the setting. It might. It might help things a bit. Okay, maybe that will help. Okay, cool. Yeah, you're coming in pretty clear now. Um. So how about things that you like so far and things that you dislike? Um. So, I really like the high-tech setting, like, it really brings a lot of fresh air into this game, and into Call of Duty as a whole. Um... Like, I like that idea. I generally enjoy... Uh, I didn't kill anyone, are you serious? Oh my god. Um, sorry, I just got a Hellstorm and it didn't do anything. <laughs> oh look, a Timefall feature. Timefall! Uh, yeah, like, I really like the, I really like the future setting, uh, I like how there's, like, that class thing now, as I just get impaled by gravity spikes, great. Um, 
Uh, so like that stuff is cool. Um, God. Like yeah, this game. Oh, shit. Uh, nope, let me get away from that one. It wasn't even a boom with that one. That was just. Come on, man. That was weird. All right. Um. But no, like I. Like it kind of reminds me of like a middle ground between Titanfall and Call of Duty, and I kind of dig it. I wish the movement was a little more like Titanfall, but I don't yeah, know, I've been really enjoying it. Hostile UAV above. That's them, them three bullet deaths. Yeah. Oh wow, John and I yeah. did very very similar. Yeah, we did all right. Uh, if I get like a point nine KD in Call of Duty or better, I'm so stoked. I'm so bad at these games. Like I'm good at a lot of other. I'm okay, but kind of depends on the map. Like I'm good at a lot of other shooters. I'm pretty good at TF2. I'm good at Halo. Uh, you know, I'm very good at Unreal. But like, man, I sit down and I play Call of Duty. And it's like. All my... I think I tend to be better in close quarters. Oh. Saw his shadow over there and I was like, nope. Yeah, that's good. That's a good observation. Yeah, let's all run around that wall and get killed. Dude, I just... I don't know what just blew up in front of me, but somehow I survived it. That's one thing I don't like, and that's just normal ah, Call damn. of Duty, is the consistency of things. I always felt Call of Duty was never a really balanced game, because it's like, oh man, your team is doing really well and kicking the crap out of the team, let's make it so you beat them even harder. Uh, isn't that supposed to be a very glorifying feeling, though? Like, I mean, if you're the winner, of course you would feel good if you could have all the tools to beat them down harder. More power to you. Yeah. I mean, think about it. It's yeah, just... but, like, makes games typically pretty one-sided. Uh, Do you remember the nuke, everyone? Well, yeah, that was just an insta-win, and that was dumb and annoying in its own right. Security, Charlie. Oh, shit. <sighs> Um, 12 and 13. This is actually a really good game for me. This is the sad part. Uh. Good on him. Um, what about you, John? What have you liked so far? Um, I like, uh, I like the speed of the game. I like the speed, I like the weapons, um, I... Like the underwater stuff, that stuff is awesome. Oh yeah, like uh, um, we, it's not on this map, but one of the maps has like underwater battles, and those are really cool. Like yeah. I was in a gunfight, and like last night I was actually playing, and I got in a gunfight, and I like dived underwater and hid uh, and got away. It was super cool. Yeah, Behind me, in front of me, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Yeah, so... Uh, I don't like a majority of these maps, actually. Yeah, and... no, that was actually been one of the big disappointments for me as well, because, like, Black Ops 2 and even Black Ops 1 had some really good maps. Like, Nuketown is famous. Uh, and this this game, like, the, I don't really like any of the maps besides that one with the waterfall. Yeah, same with me. Like, I mean, there's obviously going to be more upon release, and that might be the thing that changes it. Uh, you know, they're probably going to bring Nuketown back for a third time, because that map is brilliant. Is there knifing in this? Um, there is, but you need to spec into it and equip it, otherwise it takes two hits. Which, that was a, otherwise it's melee and it takes two hits, and that was actually... I think that was a good gameplay decision, because Call of Duty has enough bullshit in it. Oh shit. <laughs> You're like, oh crap, fall over. Just, oh shit, reload. <laughs> Darn. But yeah, like like I said, the one thing I've really never enjoyed about Call of Duty is just how unbelievably fast you just die. Um, and how it becomes a game of like, if you see them first, you are probably going to win. I do believe that's how real life warfare works. Well, the, 
yeah, but the, <laughs> the let's talk. I mean, but I mean, you don't run around in a giant arena. Uh, true. In real life. Yeah, like the thing is, if you try, like, if you want a game that emulates realism, play like at minimum Battlefield. What you really want is armor. Hey, secure. Uh, like armor's like Securing one brother. bullet, and you're done. Um, I don't, I don't like the the platforming. I'm not a huge fan of it. I like it the just... wall running, but not so necessarily. Like, I like it more than just the previous Call of Duty movement style because I always felt like movement in Call of Duty was very stilted and crabby. And this feels like it is feels better than that, but it still doesn't feel really good. Like in say Titanfall. Oh, of course, I'm the last kill. Oh, of course, it's a shotgun, too. Yeah. <laughs> ah, that 2000s blood effects. Yeah, well, I mean, they are still, like, on, using home. Quake 3 engine this. stuff. Get your shit together. What? Like, like, it ain't broke, don't fix! Like, they are still using stuff from that Quake 3 engine from 2000, and, from, like, 1999. And their modified version was from, like, 03. So... 17 to 20, not the worst I've ever done in this game. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think visually it looks better than any of the other Call of Duties, and I'm, like, way more interested in this than I ever was, like, Ghosts. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, I guess that's a plot. Let's see what new parts I, I, I wish there was just a little bit more we can test. Like... Um, I wish we could try out some of that, like, uh, co-op campaign. Yeah. Something. But I, I mean, I understand it just being multiplayer only. It makes sense. Yeah, you might, but, you might you call know, of duty just... mainly for the multiplayer. You don't really buy it to have a good story unless you deem explosions to be a good story. Oh, yeah, I mean, I don't, I could care less about Call of Duty stories, but I just want to know how the four-player co-op is. I imagine it would be nice shooting at something not called zombies. Uh, you know, I, the only time I've ever liked zombies was in that original Black Ops, because it was JFK and, like, Castro shooting zombies. Domination. That game was stupid. It was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> we have yet to determine whether it's stupid in a good way or bad way. Yeah, like... I mean, at first, it was really bad. Like, I kind of want to go back and play, like... And after a while, you realize Call of Duty probably does need the stupidity to not feel like another game. Yeah, like... like Call... Just another game. Call of Duty needs stuff to keep it fresh at this point, because it's coming out so, every year. stupidity, here we come. So it's like, let's do dumb ideas, let's do wacky fun stuff that's video games. Yeah. Did you get him? Nope. Better, nope. You just ba oh my goodness. Uh, you got killed John with that. I, no, you can't team kill this game, remember? Oh. Probably should be for day. Yeah, well. Punish you for your incompetence. Yeah, uh, well. Has trouble. I mean, Call of Duty at this point is like the shooting equivalent of like Madden. Like it's yeah, it really is. Um, I don't think that's a bad thing. Like the market demands it, fuck it. I don't really care, but uh, the market demands lots of dumb things. Call this blue outline. Ah, Hol hologram. That's what bastard. Uh, yeah. Damn, I I've You're never seen problem. that before, actually. Yeah, it must be pretty high level up yet, so. We're being dominated. Take those positions. I'm right behind you. Oh shit. I've gotten yeah. that damn drone once and I got like I just hovered above their spawn point and was a dick with it. And that was the point where I'm like, wow, this game is totally unbalanced for Japan. That's awesome. Everything is unbalanced. Dude, there is no balance in Call of Duty. You cannot convince that to me. Like, at least not in Everything like... is unbalanced unless it is always a tie game. Well, the yeah. NFL is not balanced. Okay, fine, <laughs> but you get what I mean. Like, yes. there, is, there is just some stuff that just... There's just a lot of easy... 
BS, right? Yeah, where it's just like really like when I play uh, like, Call of Duty and it's nothing. That was. Uh, yeah, no. Ray was one of those people yeah. who did that, and like he was I mean, so like, disappointed. Here's the thing: do you re are you gonna really blame the player because if the game lets you do it so easily? Why not? No, it's like. Like, who really wants to do everything the hard way? Do you want to do everything the hard way in real life? No. You want to do it easy, so... Can't I don't think you can entirely 100% blame people for taking the easiest path to victory. No, you, you can't. Like, it's it's on the game designers to make a game that, like... And, like, at this point, I don't think even the, the audience who enjoys this game uh, would, like, really cares about... That was terrifying. I just see like a health fire rocket just go off in my general direction. I'm just like, oh crap. Dude, get away from the window. <laughs> what I've learned about uh, shooters never stand still, ever, for more than like two or three seconds. Unless you somehow have the very talented ability to camp in a spot without anyone ever knowing where you are. Yeah. But even then, I wouldn't sit in that place for too long because someone could eventually find out where you are. So you need to move. That's what I've learned about shooters. It also helps me survive because I'm terrible at aiming. Um. Yeah, like, that. I mean. Gone. That, that guy was specked in the night. Trying to run straight in. Yeah, and here's that other water stuff I was talking about. Ooh, cheap water bubble effects like it's... Oh shit. No. Alpha. Oh. Okay. Man, wouldn't it really suck if you broke your leg and it fell in the water and drowned? That's really funny. That would be really a sad way to die. Just slowly drown to death. Oh, yeah, because someone gosh. shot your leg and you now can't. So see it. this is actually something with this game that I want to talk about. Is like I feel like grenades don't go far enough when you throw them. Dude, awful! That was my worst round ever on this game. I went three and five. Yeah. I'm very good at dying. The the name of the game is to just have more kills than death. Ah, those blood effects. Next gen. Half time. Gen. <laughs> When next you get gen. shot with uh, oh my the bow, can we just stop just using the term "next gen"? Before. Like it's current now. It is current. We are. Well, yes, yeah, so I know that, but I'm just making a mockery of this game. It's 2008 blood effects in a 2015 game. Four. Yeah, but like the thing you have to remember about these games is like they have to make these every bleeping year, and they. Oh, can't... I'm aware. And but they... after seeing the kind of stuff in Dragon Age and The Witcher. Sorry, that just doesn't cut it. <laughs> yeah, no. Like after seeing some some of the stuff that we've seen in other games, it's but like these have to. Yes, come. you say Quake Three, right? Uh, yeah, like this thing, this this shit is still the Quake Three engine. That was just me being bad at the game. That death was me being bad. Be advised, hostile HCX. Um. Friendly UAV is 